My God, what's happening? My boy, what's going? How you feeling, bro? Bob, you know, early morning smoke sessions. It's not even <laughs> early, yeah, but over here it's kind of early. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Welcome to the Make a Place Convo. And really, we just going to be talking about all the dope plays you've been making and how you've been making them. But I always like to ask, how are you and your people doing during these times? Oh, yeah, right now my people surviving, man. We blessed out here, man. I feel like yeah. helping a lot of us. I ain't going to lie to you. Man, yo, your fit is crazy, bro. I oh, know, this ain't a little cover, little hat, you know. I'm in the <laughs> I'm in the cool, you know. But listen, you've been staying busy all this 2020. I mean, you dropped a single almost every month of the year. Then yep. uh, you put out a dope project last week, too, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, nah, no doubt. I playlisted a couple of songs. We're going to get into that. But, um, you know, 2020 has been a wild year. What were you working on before things started to shut down? Well, actually, I've been working on two new projects, and I've been oh, working. This project was actually finished, but the last song, Tell Me Who Better, that's the most recent song I did. I think I did that probably, like, a month prior to the tape even dropping. Like, I had to throw that on there, like, yeah, this going to get on there. But I just really been working, trying to develop a new sound and shit. Yeah, man, I, I was going to ask you that because I remember, you know, I, I'm back here in Atlanta but I moved away like in 2016. But I remember back like around 2015, 2016, you you had the city buzzing during that time. Yeah, I um, literally was in high school though. Huh? I literally was in high school. Like, I mean, literally just graduated high school in 2014. Yeah, damn. <clears throat> exactly, so it was like, in high school, it was slick going crazy. I honestly don't know how that shit even happened, but I'm be honest. It just, <laughs> <laughs> it just happened. Oh, uh, but nah, yeah, I th I know you was you, you you was buzzing. Then you dropped a few mixtapes like in 2017, 2018. That was a little bit after I left. Then you took some time off. What yeah. happened? Well, I just I just been trying to perfect this album. You know what I'm saying? Or perfect my sound really, and then put in put in different projects for y'all so y'all can really get where I'm coming from. <coughs> I feel like this project right here. This is my this is the first album I ever dropped. That's right. So it's like, you know, just want to rush into that, you know what I'm saying? You really, because that's like, it's a whole nother platform you finna step onto. So it's like, I just been preparing myself mentally for all this shit that's finna happen. What, what, what was, why was that time important to you? Like, what were you really focusing on during that downtime and during that preparation time? I was really trying to figure out who I was as a person, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, once you get in the, get in the industry, it'd be this and that. He say, she say shit going on. And it kind of mess you up from who you really are. So I just had to take time and just like shut out everything, and then just be, you know, what I'm saying, figure out me. That makes sense, bro. So you started you started rapping when you was in high school. You know, what I'm saying You're from South Side Atlanta. Yes. Um, who were some of your early influences? Um, coming up, I want to say my number one influence coming up in high school was Future. Yeah. yeah. My number one influence. Like, you know how they used to say eargasms? Like, you hear something in your ear and that shit got down. That's like a new level. Like, you ain't never, like, but I was just in the future, got them experiencing new feelings I never felt before. And I wanted to get those feelings to people. So it's like, I was, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to mimic, not so much his style, but like the aura. You know yeah. Like, boss big dog energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what the, uh, Andre 3000. Yeah. Ain't gonna lie, Chris Brown. Party next don't really influence a hell of my hella how I do shit now. Okay. Um a little bit of Drake when he was the early Drake. I used to listen to hella shit. Kanye West, Big Sean, Our Future, fucking ASAP. I used to listen to everything like. And I just chose the most coolest songs that I like the most and just became try to become the coolest. Yeah. Man, that's a good combination right there. So you talked about like, you know, saying redoing your style or, or, or your sound. Mm -hmm. Um what was it that you felt like you need to find as far as your voice and your flow? What was that process like? No, it's all good. I was saying what what what, what was it like that you had to find as far as redoing your, your your sound or whatever? Like what was that process like? I felt like Air, let's be honest, bro. Everybody's starting to, starting to sound the same. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I got I got more talent than what a lot of other artists can do, and that's actually kind of sing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, 
people like when I was doing the melody, so I just thought, why do I take it up a notch and really become like more melodic with it? You know what I'm saying? And that's really what I was trying to focus on. Make sense. Make sense. Really being more of a singer. Yeah. Now I, I I hear it on the project, bro. Speaking of which, man, like I said, you dropped a real dope project this past Friday. Explain explain the meaning of the title. Uh, the title is eight. Yep. <clears throat> that means many shit. For me though, it means like infinity. If you turn to the side, it's infinity, you know what I'm saying? Niggas know I dropped the Live Shine Die projects, the Limbus. Limbus is like limbo, that's the in between. So it's like when I drop this, it's like I'm here to stay. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like I didn't I didn't did all that multiple times, you know what I'm saying? It's never gonna stop, but this time I'm here to stay, you know what I'm saying? I realize that. And also eight represents money, uh financial wealth. It also represents completion after the number seven. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. It represents, uh, represents many things, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's what's up right there. Um, what was your creative process as far as making the, the the project? I know you said you took your time with it, but as far as choosing your beats, because like you had a lot of good tracks on there too. I made like three of them beats actually. Oh, you did? I didn't even know you produced. Yeah, I, I started. See, I'm trying to, you know, what I'm saying? I had to take a step back. Yeah. And really, and really get into myself. So it's like I made three with uh, Julia Lewis. He uh made that uh, it's the face of the West Coast, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, he made that beat, and like when I linked him, he wanted me to rap, but like I really wasn't in a rapping mood. I'm like, yo, listen, listen, I'm trying to make beats, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't even on no like, what you mean you trying to make beats? He really just sat there and helped me learn how to make these beats. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which which ones did you produce I, off the album? I produced three tracks. I produced uh. <laughs> we got two grand camp from night mode in the building. Hey, uh, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, man, shout out to eight, man. You but know. I had made, I had made double back. I made okay. miss me ill. Ill, I produced most of the ill track. Damn, Damn that's, that's what's up. But for as far as the creative process, though, yeah, I really have one. It's just whenever I'm in the vibe, I create what's in my vibe at that moment. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. write. Though. I can tell you that much. I don't write. I go in there, I might freestyle a whole, I might do the whole song in five minutes, or I might do the whole song in an hour. It just depends. But no song takes longer than an hour, and that's guaranteed. I never Back. took an hour on the song. So it's like, it's over in an hour, it's not meant, it's forced. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But that's really my vibe. I just go with the vibe. Nah, that's facts right there, bro. So so the, the songs that stood out to me were Pure. I love Pure. I think that's my favorite one of the whole project. Can't right. go inches, and then the joint with you and Cowboy, my go-to. What songs right. were you feeling off there? Crazy. What you songs said, were you, I said, what songs were you feeling off of there? Like, what are your favorite tracks off there? Really, any song I drop is my favorite track. <laughs> it's song, so it's like, if I'm dropping it, it's my favorite. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But, like, from my favorite cuts from were the ones that meant the most to me, and I feel like yeah. I'm hitting it, is pure as one. Mm -hmm. I, I, I is one. Okay. Devil on your right shoulder. Okay. Miss me. I ain't gonna lie. I put my soul in this whole shit. I can't. The whole tape, my fit. I'm sorry, man. I can't even just narrow it down. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that, though, man. Like I said, it's an incredible project. If you're in that live right now, check out that A joint, man. It's dope. You know, okay. I definitely playlisted Pure and a few other joints, but um, but nah, I, 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 I was feeling it, man. So well, I know I... You say what? What song? What song you want a video to? I say pure. Pure deserve a video. I think pure deserve a video. All right, fuck. We gonna have a pure video out soon for you. No. Cap. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. That 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 pure that pure shit. That's gonna go hard, man. Um. Uh, <laughs> so I know at one point you said that you felt like hip hop hip hop was going down a dark path. How do you feel about the state of hip hop right now? I feel like at this very moment. I feel like it's going up, but I honestly feel like I'm pushing boundaries right now. You know what I'm saying? Like before, it was just it was it was good music. Don't get me wrong, but it was nothing really inspiring. You know what I'm saying? It just it's trendy music. You know what I'm saying? It's here today. It might stay here, but it's you know what I'm saying. It's not really inspiring nobody to like change nothing. Right. So it's like when I when when I dropped 
it's like I want to push boundaries. That's why you got so many different vibes, you know what I'm saying? But it's all me, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's like there'll be different sometimes, you know what I mean? And that's what that's what I fell in love with music because you can be as different as you want, but it's like everything is starting to sound, kind of sound the same, but it's like never too late for Were you surprised as far as like your fans just really rock rocking with you even after you took that time out? You know what I'm saying? But the, was, the response that they've been giving you since the project came out? I was kind of surprised, but at the same time, I knew they was going to rock with me because that's all they ever been waiting for is for me to drop some music. Yeah. That's why they just been so mad at me because I ain't been dropping music. And it's like, <laughs> I dropped for y'all, baby. We lit. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you dropped the dope project, man. What, what's the rest of 2020 look like for you? I know you say you're dropping some more stuff. Right. I ain't going to lie. Hopefully we call it just deluxe because I got some shit I want to give y'all. Okay. Okay. I got, I got some more shit I want to give y'all. That, that might just take me over the top. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. that. No doubt, bro. What do you like doing outside of music? I love, love, love basketball. Okay. I can bet, I can bet any money on anybody. What's going on? <laughs> any rapper, play me, any singer, any entertainer. That don't play basketball, of course. <laughs> I'm not losing. I'm no not. Doubt. I was about to say, you don't want to say that because Dave Lillard rap. <laughs> I'm not losing. No, nah, Dan Lillard don't count. He's in it. <laughs> <laughs> no professionals, man. Uh, that's, <laughs> nah, that's what's up right there, man. Well, I'm going to wrap it up on this question right here. Obviously, 2020 has been a crazy year, but it's yeah. also been a time for people to kind of take a pause and, and, and kind of self-reflect and think about some things. Is there anything during this time where we've kind of had to sit down that you've realized about yourself or just life in general? I realize isn't with this whole thing going on, people ain't been able to go outside of, you know what I'm saying, really do all this flexing. It's like, it bring you back to reality unless you gotta, you know what I'm saying, you gotta really be lit in real life now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, all the, with all the materialistic things low key getting taken away, it makes you more humble in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like it's way more, it's much more to live for. Like this shit can be taken away at any second. You know what I'm saying? So you really gotta value every single moment that you got and like live it to the fullest. Cause literally, shit can be t- gone tomorrow type shit. So that's real, bro. Where's the wisdom right there, my brother? Listen, I appreciate your time. You know, again, it's an incredible project. What you say, man? The R.P. Marlo, man. Yeah, R.P. Marlo, for real, man. That that fucked me up when I heard about that, bro. She Damn. Yeah, man. Be safe out there, too, man. And when things open up safely, we got the Pandora office here in Atlanta. You definitely got to come I'm through so we can chop it up at first. I need my own station, man. <laughs> you got your own station. What? On Pandora. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you got your own station, man. You got you to gotta check yourself out, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, man. Be safe, man. Let's stay connected. Peace. Peace, man.